It had come to their knowledge, he said, that a foolish and wicked rumor had been circulating at the time of Boxer's removal. Some of the animals had noticed that the van which took Boxer away was marked horse, horse slaughter and had actually jumped to the conclusion that Boxer was sent to the Knickers glue factory. It was almost unbelievable, said Squealer, that any animal could be so stupid. Surely, he cried indignantly, whisking his tail and skipping from side to side, surely they know their beloved leader, Comrade Napoleon, better than that. But the, but the explanation was really very simple. See, the van previously been, had been the property of the glue guy, the knicker, and had been bought by the veterinary surgeon and had not yet been painted and who, who had not painted out the old name. See? That was how the, mis, uh, the mistake took place. The animals were enormously relieved to hear this and then Squealer went on to give further graphic details of Boxer's deathbed, the adorn, adorable care he had received and the expensive medicines for which Napoleon had paid without thought as to the cost. Their last doubts disappeared, and the sorrow that they felt for their comrade's death was tempered by the thought that at least he had a happy death. There you go, man. It's propaganda. The propaganda machine. Uh, Marcus Conti reporting. I want to thank everybody who made a, a contribution through PayPal and, uh, and uh, became a Patreon for a buck or two. I love it. Thank you so much. I, I mean, really, I, I, again, I, I, this is fully, <laughs> you know, uh, user, subscriber, uh, viewer supported. Um, here and you know in order for me to continue I think that if every once in a while if you chuck a buck in the uh, in the tip jar when I pass it around if you haven't done so please do if you have already thank you so much I, I really appreciate it so so here's the story right you want to see what your you want to see what your taxpayer money is buying oh it's so beautiful it's science porn the science point. You see all the all the bells and whistles and the gadgets and the expensive copper, three hundred billion not three hundred, three billion dollars or more. Uh, the camera alone was eight hundred and twenty eight million dollars. So that's uh insight. That's the, the that's the shit that they sent up uh to Mars. Right? So I'll read a little bit, tell you about it. See what's going on here. So insight landed on Mars, right? Why is it important, right? Fucking, we all we need to get to Mars, right? We got to get to Mars, right? The Earth is Earth is falling apart, but we we need to get to Mars, right? Right? Because it's it's nice. I mean, we got selfies now. We got fucking selfie pictures of Mars. Let's let's read a little bit. Insight landed on Mars on November twenty sixth at uh, two fifty p.m. In the two weeks since, scientists are thrilled to find that the landing on the here we go. Elysium Plantitia area of Mars in front of the spacecraft pretty much is pretty much free of rocks, hills, and holes. They lucked out and landed in a good spot. They should make it a safe place for insights to geological experiments which will be which will be moved to the ground in the coming weeks. I just I, I mean it's fascinating, right? This is fascinating science, right? We got to Mars. We got this wonderful fucking device on Mars now. And um, and it's good, right? It's good. The space race, right? Space. Space force. In addition to taking pictures, the nearly six-foot arm will be used to pick up science instruments from the lander's deck. There's also another camera on the lander which cost $828 million, known as the Instrument Context Camera. How much does your camera cost? The unmanned probe, which is built by Lockheed Martin, will dig deeper into the planet than anything that's come before. I should say it's going to dig deeper into your pocket than anything that's come before. Congratulations, Lockheed Martin. Buy some stock. Shit's going up, right? 
Since the InSight lander set down on the Red Planet a week ago, ending a journey that lasted six months and covered 300 million miles, it's been quite busy for NASA. I mean, all kidding aside, it's it's fascinating, right? I mean, it, the thing traveled six months into in space, 300 million miles, and it's able to send selfies back. <laughs> it's fascinating, right? The InSight lander is the space agency's first probe to reach the red planet in six years following the 2012 landing of Curiosity rover. The rover, which has been has clocked more than 12 miles on the odometer, is currently the only thing operating on the Martian surface. The Opportunity rover, which was launched in 2003, is currently inoperable on the red planet. All right, so... So there we go. We we landed on Mars. Right? It's a good thing, right? It's fucking it's amazing. What would you rather have? What would you rather have? Higher wages at home? More investment opportunities to 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 take your take your money and maybe start a little business, right? Lower taxes for you, raise the corporate taxes, right? More spare time to spend with your kids, spend with your cats, to 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 maybe meditate and 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 uh, enjoy your life, right? Universal single payer health care, so you don't have to worry about about uh, you know uh, going bankrupt because you got sick or be or or you don't have you have to stay in a shit job because they cover you, right? Green New Deal, right? What would you rather have? Would you rather have all of those things, all of those things, or a selfie from Mars? I didn't hear you. Would you rather have all of those things, or or a selfie, a selfie, a picture from Mars? Would you rather? Have? Oh, I I thought I heard, I thought I heard the 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 first part of it. So. So, that I mean, it's it, in my view. Obviously, I'm being cynical, but it's 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 a tremendous fucking waste. While this, they're taking selfies from fucking Mars, right? And and Earth is rotting, and 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 the people are are are, are crying out for equality, <laughs> economic equality, right? Yellow yellow shit, man. It's happening. It's happening. It's happening as we speak, man. Saturday, ba boom, ba bing, ba bang. So, uh, a couple of comments. People are saying um, that uh, Conti, you don't have a plan. You don't have a plan. What are you gonna do? You're gonna let all the shit fall, and then we're, we're gonna be self governed? No, no, no. You can't. You can't rally the people in a peaceful way right? and 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 that's that's everything that solves the problem right no it, let me let me if you're, if you're new to the channel i've been telling you the solutions all along right but let's um let's look at that uh for a second i just want to talk about the idea of the yellow vest yellow vest movement now you know that that has erupted in um in uh france is now making its way globally. What the movement is is it's just a simple statement that the globalist, the globalist economy, the trickle down idea that corporations are going to give back, right, to the people is a lie. It's it's a it's fake. It's a fake. It's fake news, right? You know, and not even, not only did the Trump tax breaks give corporations tax breaks from 34 down to 20, but they eliminated the overseas tax, which means corporations are now, they have no tax abroad. They can, that's, that's incentive to pack up your shit and go abroad, right? Good job, good job. Tax cuts, right? That's what you got. All right, so, so what do we get? If we stop pissing our money away on on Mars, right, and selfies from Mars, right, and 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 you know, filling Lockheed Martin's pockets with mili military industrial complex funds, right, this is what we do. We got it. First of all, first of all, we have to bring power back to the people. Hundred percent. I'm reading right off of my my Senate my Senate uh, uh, campaign. Promises. <laughs> These can be interpreted as a presidential promise, right? Because what we're, what we're trying to do, it's, it's hard. I know it's hard to understand. 
But when you have people that have all of the money and you have crumbs, you don't have freedom of speech. You don't have freedom of your life is not free. Your life is is that of slavery. You're you're a you're you're stuck in abject poverty and you don't realize it because the the levels of income and wealth inequality have become so wide that you don't even see those people. You don't even know what a billionaire looks like to be to be honest. You probably don't even they don't even your kids don't meet their kids. Your kids don't go to the same school or the same parties or or live on the same block. Are you fucking kidding me? Those pe those those kids are they they're they're off in their own fucking Ivy League schools and Ivy League private high schools and and preparatory schools and they shop at the big stores and the, all you go to the parties and all those parties are all the rich kids. Listen to me. I, they, they, you're, you're totally don't understand what's going on with these people, right? So you want 100% election integrity, right? I'm just going to rattle them off, right? You reduce the military spending by 80%. You don't piss, piss money away on fucking selfies from Mars, right? For example, right? You, you raise the corporate tax rate to 80%. You tax the publicly traded companies that are ripping us off. What's so hard to understand about that? Why does why does it get twenty five different labels from twenty five different idiots that it's somehow it's it's nineteen forties socialism from Russia? What the fuck? Where can you where do you connect those dots? There is no dots to connect there. They're not the same thing, right? <laughs> it's stupid. It's fucking stupid. It's not communism. It's not Marxism. I don't even know what half of the terms people use to to say when you say tax the corporations the publicly traded entities that that are public public by definition they're public right you you tax them right and you bring them back down to size that's all you take that money and you infuse it into the economy through a, a, a variety of programs you could get you know solar and wind exploration into you know and and have solar panels covering Arizona you can get a high speed rail you could get infrastructure projects that build up the the airports and the subways again just like you could build a fucking wall <laughs> you could build a fucking wall no problem right you could build a wall just that alone should get your fucking tail wagging you could build a wall right keep you in i mean keep them out whatever right so so that's where most of your tax less than 10 percent that it shouldn't even be individual income tax shouldn't once you solve a lot of these problems the corporate money's bleeding out because they make all the profits they make all the products they're not going to leave you know why because they already left then they're, they're here out of out of uh it's it's like well someplace to hang your hat they're here because they get away with murder that's all Right, but all their business is done abroad. All their monies are are stashed abroad. Right. So also, you you have to in that you have to make tax evasion illegal again, taking bribes illegal again. It's it's legal, right, to bribe politicians. You have to, right. These are the things that we start to do. Term limits, two years max. Get rid of these congressmen and senators. Two years, you can run again. You can get two more years. After that, you're gone. Two two-year terms. Done, right? House and Senate, right? A free universal single-payer health care. Single-payer meaning that the government picks up the bill. They, we budget, we bargain with the f big pharma so that they don't rip us off. Right now, there's no bidding. But you, we don't bid for the best prices because... Big Pharma, there's laws that prevent the government from bidding to get the best prices on drugs. Free single-payer health care. You drive the price down. You bring Big Pharma to their fucking knees. You bring them down. Right? Bring them down. Right? Free single-payer, free universal, uh, free, I'm sorry, uh, college tuition at city and state universities. It should have been done a long time ago. All you're doing is that you're advancing high school level education to the college level that's all you're doing that's it that's it you're covered right so now your kids can get a college education the, you, your health care is covered there's there's way more money hitting the economy there's more opportunity 
right? It's not a fucking handout. It's your country. It's your country, and you're let you're letting you're letting a bunch of globalist scumbags steal your money, right? That's what you're letting the, all the money bleeds out the top, right? Understand that, right? The more the more the more these companies make, the more they steal. It's 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 monopoly. You don't win, right? You you never win. The people don't win, right? Yeah, you, you expunge student loan debt. Get rid of that shit, right? Because the student loans are, are now student education at 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 uh, city and state universities is now free. So you expunge the student debt, all of it. Just get rid of it. It's not necessary, right? Stop stop holding students down in debt for the rest of their lives. Convert to U.S. Convert to um, wind and solar. There's other ones too. Get rid of it. Close the fucking FBI. And the CIA. Start over. Get something new. Get something new. <laughs> uh, hand count ballots. And the mass incarceration, the poverty draft. All that stuff goes away, right? When, when, when you have a, a thriving economy, kids don't line up to join the fucking military and go. They, they join the military because there's no other opportunities, right? And, they, and they're sold on the idea of free. You'll get a four-year college degree if you go and shoot a gun for for your country right and fucking get, get, you know right but if college is free already right and the minimum wage uh, uh, ultimately goes up the cost of living comes down right the cost of living comes down home properties everything comes down to size the the amount of money people have and the cost of things Right, and you continue to enforce the in immigration laws so that America first. It's not that hard to it's not that hard to figure out. People say, "Oh, you don't have a oh, we we got a president that's going to drain the swamp." He's fucking draining dick, right? He's not. There's no sw swamp. The swamp is the fucking corporations. He doesn't even. He gave them. He gave them a fucking carte blanche. He rolled out the the red carpet for the swamp. He rolled out the red carpet for Trump, rolled out the red carpet for the swamp. Uh, okay, so that's, the, that's what time it is, right? So, so Saturday. Saturday on the 15th of, uh, of, of, uh, of uh, December is the, it should be what we, what, we, what we should call as the launching of a yellow wave. Yellow is love, hashtags, across America. So that w the, some of the things that I just said are what the yellow vest movement is about, right? The French got it. They figured it out. They figured it out, and you're still fucking waiting for some idiot to, on 8-tran and 4-tran to whisper the secret of the, of the you know, whisper, what's going to happen next? What's going to happen next? Trust sessions. Trust this one. Trust you. Fuck you. I'm not trying. I don't trust any of them. The next thing they're going to be saying, trust Hillary. Trust Hillary. Trust Hillary. It's stupid. So, so. Empathetically, I'm now Conti's going to become empathetic and go back on his period. So, so what I'm saying is this: I know sometimes the truth is harsh and it's insulting, and 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 sometimes vulgarity is is used as, as an exclamation point, and uh, that's just the way it is. But uh, you know, you let's use this nonviolent presence. That's all it is. We start out as a presence. That's all. No one's saying rally. This is not a call for 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 rally. It's it's passive resistance, right? We we begin to build a, a presence and then ultimately divest in the in the very corporations that are holding us back. That's what it is. Ultimately, it's divestment. By just showing up and waving a, a yellow flag or or dressed in yellow meeting your friends in the park is is not that revolutionary i agree but it is something it's something more than just sitting on your ass right right although sitting on your ass is is the essence of the movement right not not contributing right however it is it is at this time a good idea to get your ass off of social media and start to start to get out into the square 
and 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 meet people and and talk about talk about what's going on in your life, right? Stop, stop, you know, right? Because you don't have time, right? Nobody's got fucking time. I don't got time for this shit. What are you talking about, fucking revolution? I don't got time for this shit. Yo, I don't got time, man. I got to get to work, fucking guys. Who fucking wants to wants to go out in the park with a fucking yellow... Look at this guy. This guy's a fucking... Jo jo what the... Who the fuck is this guy? You hear this shit? You hear this shit? He's saying, fucking go out in the park with a yellow hat on. Fucking guy. I think it's crazy. I think it's crazy. So, let's keep going, man. Congratulations. We're, we're on Mars. Marcus Carthy reporting.